Hi guys, my name is Samson Kange from Destination Zambia here in Zambia. So um, today I'm going to tell you about five things that you should at least know before you travel to Zambia. Okay, so let's quickly get into them. Okay, first things first, uh, Zambia is an African country which is located in the southern part of Africa. Now, in terms of size, Zambia actually sits on 752,617 kilometers squared. Now, that's big. Okay, but in terms of population, Zambia only has 18.3 million people. That's according to a survey that was conducted actually in 2020. You know, Zambia actually has uh, conducts these surveys, population surveys, every after 10 years. Okay, so this, the latest one was conducted in 2020. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the second thing is uh, that Zambia is actually home to one of Africa's best national parks. That is the Kafue National Park. It's actually the fifth largest national park in the world, Africa. You know, and uh, it sits on 22,400 kilometers squared. And it get, actually gets its name from uh, the Kafue River. So the Kafue River passes through the national park. It actually stretches uh, about 250 kilometers in the national park okay so all the beautiful safari camps are actually located along the banks of this river and um, it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful national park which you would want to visit okay so it has a lot of animals actually uh, ranging from the wild cats which is uh, the, the the lions the the cheetahs the leopards you know it has also the elephants it has the beautiful birds of the air so you would really want to visit this national park you know uh, all i'm saying is that uh, check out this wonderful park to get indulged in the wildlife on your next visit to zambia get to immerse yourself in the wilderness it's a beautiful place okay so let's move on to the next one and the next one uh, okay the third one the third one is actually a uh, katima mulilo bridge this is actually a bridge which links zambia to namibia Okay, th because there's a river there which is called uh, the Zambezi River and Katimam River Bridge was constructed to help people, you know, to ease their movements between uh, uh, Zambia and Namibia. So it actually, um, it is called Katimam River Bridge because on the Namibian side, it's actually an area called Katimam Mulilo, but on the Zambian side, it's an area called Sesheke. Okay, so uh, Katimamulio Bridge is actually 900 meters long. Uh, like I said, it was constructed or completed in 2004 by the late Levi Patrick Mwanawasa. May he so rest in peace. But uh, uh, this is a beautiful bridge. As you can see from these beautiful photos, it's a beautiful bridge. And you may just want to use this route whenever you have a journey going to 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 namibia so yeah you can use it okay guys so quickly before we get to the last two uh if you've just come across this video or this youtube channel for the first time you're welcome and please if you are getting value out of this video remember you can subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button and also uh, leave a comment uh, give us your feedback and also uh, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Let's get to the the, the, the fourth one. Okay, guys. So this one is actually on um, uh, COVID-19 and the status here in Zambia. So we can't talk about all these things without talking about how this pandemic is actually affecting travelers. Okay, so uh, this is the fourth one. Okay, all travelers actually were arriving in Zambia from countries that have recorded cases of Omicron variant are required to undergo a mandatory, you know, uh, quarantine for 10 days at your own expenses. So guys, when you're coming to Zambia, you have to make sure that you are prepared for this kind of uh, situations. You need to get quarantined for 10 days. Okay. And if you are a Zambian citizen who is actually returning to Zambia or you're a permit holder, you may be required to quarantine at home for the same time, like 10 days. Okay? Present a certificate demonstrating negativity or demonstrating a negative COVID-19 test results dated less than 72 hours. 
if you have that you're good to go okay because failure to that actually guys it will land you into trouble the immigration won't be able to to to, to clear you so that is the fourth one okay let's get to the fifth one without wasting much of your time the fifth one is okay guys so the last one but not the least on our list <laughs> okay it's actually the mighty victoria falls and uh, this is actually one of the world's most spectacular waterfall now it is not the highest nor is it the widest waterfall in the world but victoria falls is actually you know classified as the largest waterfall in the world now, this is actually based on its, uh, you know, combined width, which is actually 5,604 feet and height of 354 feet. Okay, now this is what makes it in its distinction as one of the seven wonders of the world. It's a beautiful place. No Zambia and no this place. Okay, it's a beautiful one. So you have to visit Victoria Falls first task that I'm giving you. Whatever you're watching from, Victoria Falls is for you. It is right here in Zambia and it's a beautiful place. Okay, it is actually located in the southern part of Zambia. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. So you have to visit the mighty Victoria Falls. I'll be doing quite a lot of videos about it. Okay. Okay, guys, so we've come to the end. And please remember to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. And if you have anything that you want to say, please leave a comment below and uh, I'll be happy to reply to you. Thank you very much for watching.